So if you're going to ship your flowers through FedEx, there is another option than just having them shipped to your home. The great thing about FedEx is they can go anywhere. The problem is that you have to wait for your package to get there. And sometimes there's delays. And if you're busy the week of your wedding, which you will be running around doing errands, you don't want to sit at your house waiting for your flowers. Um, okay. So here's an alternative option and it's called hold for pickup. And instead of having the flowers shipped to your home, you're gonna have it shipped to a FedEx station where they allow hold for pickup. So in this link that we give you, it will take you to this FedEx location search. And when you get there, you want to select hold at location. That's the only filter that you care about. And then you can type in your city, um, your city name or your zip code just go ahead and type in Oklahoma City because that's where I'm at. And as you can see, there's lots of options. And so you can go with a FedEx um, print station, a FedEx office, or you can select a satellite station like a Walgreens. Uh, the, the good news with that is they typically have um, like a larger range of hours than like a, a print shop. So Let's say I select this one. I'm gonna go ahead and just look at the services again, just to verify it does allow this hold for pickup. Um, there's the store hours. And from there, I'm going to copy and paste this information into my Flower Moxie order. And so we'll jump right over. I built a cart and I'm trying to check out. And so as you can see, instead of my own address, I plugged in the FedEx address. And in the company, I put FedEx so it knows you know where to go this is very important on the name you need to put the name of the person who's going to pick up these flowers so if you know you're not going to pick up the flowers and your mom's going to do it then you need to put her name because they do require you to show an id so if you try to pick up your own box of flowers if your name isn't on the box you can't get them uh, for the number I would put on your your phone number or whoever's picking it up because the FedEx stations are pretty good about calling customers, not always, and you'll have the tracking so you'll know when it gets to the location and it's available for pickup, but they are pretty good about calling to let you know that your box is there. So then you will continue on to shipping and you'll select your shipping method. So naturally, if you're shipping it to a FedEx location for a hold for pickup, you want to select FedEx overnight shipping. Just totally makes sense. Um, you'll also see the other options available in your state. And I will say that anytime there's an option to pick it up at a wholesale, I would go with that. Um, don't ship your flowers if you can just make a drive and get it directly out of the cooler. It's, it's just healthier and better for your flowers as a whole. Uh, okay, so if you have any questions, then email us at hello at flowermoxie. We'd be happy to help, and thank you so much.